Hi guys, okay, so today we're talking about open data. The hackers are coming! The hackers are coming! Now that's the common response. They're gonna steal my passwords, my money, my photos. And there's always one guy that's like, you hear about this open data thing, fam? Yeah, G, yeah, G. Yeah, if I use private mode on my PC, can I still hack it? And send my browsing history to my missus? Yeah, G, yeah, G. Okay, okay, okay. Let's clarify what open data is. And I hope they can't actually do that. Yeah, G, yeah, G. So the idea of open data is some data, not personal data, should be freely available for everyone to use. Like class listing and booking information. To do this, we open an API. Uh -huh. That means nothing to me. I'm not gonna sign my no, but send me your bank details so I can donate to your favorite charity. So what is an open API? Well, think about it like this. You book a flight, a hotel, a hire car through one booking agent. That booking agent then somehow magically gets you booked on three different service providers' booking systems. And this is done through an API. So websites such as Get Active London can list all the activities in London. And the exciting thing is, we don't have to send them a PDF because it's pulled through an open API. But open your API, you're strengthening sport as a sector and getting more people who aren't doing activity because they simply cannot find it and get frustrated and spend their time and money in other sectors. Let's go on holiday. Click. So it's pretty obvious. Let's start to work together as a sector and start competing against each other and start competing against other sectors and focus on getting more people moving. My name's Vaughn. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, share it. Tell your friends, kiss your dog, and let's get more people moving. Bye!